Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, I was killed by an Alpha Raptor that surprised me, and then after I was able to get my stuff back, I went for a short trip into the Redwood Forests over there. So far, my base seems to be okay just open like this, but I don't want to leave it like that forever. As a, er, For right now, I want to go and... Do I have... What do I have going in the furnace right now? Or refining forge, not furnace. going to go and see if I can find some do I only have 16 I do only have 16 stone arrows okay no I don't need stone for that I need flint they're called stone arrows but you need flint not stone So I'm going to have to gather this stuff to make some more arrows, because 16 is not enough to kill much of anything, really. Yeah, previously I've usually tried to keep about at least a hundred arrows on me depending on where I'm going maybe more like if I was going into there I'd probably carry closer to 200 or if I was going somewhere where I know it's gonna be more dangerous because that's all the more flint I've got. Gotta get more flint then. I'm heading down towards the beach over here. 27 is a bit better. I still need more though. I need more. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Fucking compies. Normally I hear them approaching, but I didn't hear them this time. that stuff too. Yeah, normally I don't hear the or normally I hear the compies approaching. I didn't hear them that time. Because normally you'll hear them make that noise they make before they run over to you, but apparently they decided not to that time. 
that time they wanted to sneak attack me, I guess. five because I don't have enough flint. <laughs> Looking for those trilobite things because as of right now they're my best my best source of oil and silica pearls which I'll be needing too. How did I not get damaged from that fall? I should have taken fall damage there. Huh. Maybe actually maybe the flak armor helps prevent fall damage. I don't know. Better armor might increase your resistance to fall damage. I never really thought to look that up or check on that. It will make sense, I guess. Sturdier armor would, you would think, would protect you a bit more, but I don't know. You're level 8, I'll leave you alone. But yeah, I want to find those trilobites because those are, as I said right now, they're my best source for oil and silica pearls. Plus, they'll give me the other stuff that I need. But they're hard to find. Typically, they're out in the water in shallow areas, but that's a dangerous place to be going looking for them as well. Because there's also other things out in the water that can get to you then. Plus they'll run away and drag you out farther into the water if you're not careful. And then you're running into other things that you don't want to be running into. Typically I'll find them along the shoreline and that's about all the farther I'll chase them. I don't usually chase them out into the water. I read that they spawn um, in shallow water anyways. I haven't really looked for them. I've always just found them on the shoreline. I don't normally see them up this way, but it's worth a try, I guess. I figure for a trip like this where I'm just going over to the coastline, I shouldn't need any of my any of my teams with me. I should be able to handle most of the threats I come across here on my own. And the ones that I can't handle face to face, I can always grapple up to a higher point and fight them that way. I should be able to handle anything I come across out here. Now I read that those things are good of water mounts, they can outswim megalodons and stuff, but I've never tried it. The thing with that is I would want it to be a high enough level that it's got enough stamina I can actually keep swimming fast to get away from stuff. 
and I wouldn't have to stop every every couple minutes or something. I'd want it to have a lot of stamina and probably a lot of movement speed increase. But as they get into the higher levels, they get extremely difficult to tame. Like I think one that I was trying to tame, I don't remember if it was on here or if it was on a different, um, one of the other maps. I think it was on, um, on Ragnarok. I was trying to tame a level 135, I think, and it, it would eat a berry and it would go up by like 0.9%. And I was just like this, it, it literally, according to the calculator I was looking at, would have taken over an hour, if I remember correctly, something like that. And I just didn't have the ability to keep it knocked out for that long. So, so yeah, you need better better stuff for taming them at high levels like that just berries is not enough at that high of a level but that's what i would want is one that's up around 100 or more so i could get it to have good enough stats to actually be more useful Now, I've seen the trilobites around this shoreline a few times, so... Where I used to see them a lot is over where I spawned in at. But I haven't been seeing them in that area so far when I've been through there in this with this character, so... So I don't know if they're over there or not. There's one. Yeah, see, that's why I want to kill them. I get so much. I get a ton of that stuff from them. I've actually been getting used to putting my weapon away immediately after I kill something because I've been playing on Extinction lately, and holy crap, by the way, is that one difficult. But there's these things called Enforcers on there, which if they see you with a weapon, they become aggressive and they will attack you. And if they see you attacking something, they will come in and they will attack you. And they're very similar in their stats to a Raptor, I guess. They don't have a whole lot of health, but they do a ton of damage, and they can teleport, they can knock you back and stun you, they can, bl they can, um, I've seen them do some sort of, like, radial shield kind of thing, it seems, yeah, they're not, they're not something you want to be fighting if you can help it. But there's those guys, and then there's also defense units, which have... I've realized, I remember before I was mentioning how the Dilos seem to be little jerks who just harass everything they come across. Defense units are a lot worse. They will attack any living dinosaur or living creature other than me, usually. Unless they have a reason to attack me. They will come to attack my tames that aren't doing anything. They'll just attack whatever they come across, it seems. And it gets extremely annoying because I was trying to tame a parasaur in there earlier and one of those fuckers comes by and starts attacking it and n nearly killed it while it was unconscious taming and it's... By the time I had killed the, um, the defense unit, the parasaur was down to... 19.1% taming efficiency, and it was at a level 20. It only gained one level when it was when it tamed. I was not impressed. <laughs> Plus, not to mention, I had just tamed a, a Carbonemus or a turtle, and 
I no more than got it tamed and one of those things came running up and killed it right away. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. They're just so fucking frustrating. And they're, like I said, they're just like the Dilos. They harass everything. They don't care what it is. They'll attack Brontos or anything. They just go up, they attack any dinosaur or, like, creature they see, pretty much. They can be useful, because there are some times where I can drag things over to them that I need killed that I can't handle on my own, but... Then again, there's times, like I was saying there, where they'll come over and they'll kill your tames, and... Yeah, it's... <laughs> Extinction is tough. Water is a lot more rare in there. You don't have, like, the oceans and stuff. At least it has been in the places I've explored so far. I haven't gone out of the main... The thing with extinction is it takes place after... After, uh... I don't know what the... What caused it, but there's a... Whole lot of damage to Earth. Like, a ton of stuff is destroyed and... And basically, basically there's these safe zones, or there's at least a safe zone and called Sanctuary, which is where you can, where it's recommended that you start out at. And in Sanctuary is where all the enforcers and defense units and stuff are, and outside of there, there's corrupted um, dinosaurs and creatures that act as like a hive mind sort of thing where if you attack one any in the area will come and attack you then if one of them gets aggressive towards you you have a bunch of them after you which wouldn't necessarily be so bad if it was just like normal just a normal thing like a dilo and stuff like that but it happens with everything up to up to um Gigas, which we haven't seen yet on here, or a Gigantosaur or Gigantosaurus or whatever they're called. It's basically a much larger version of a Rex and much more deadly. And you'll find them and they're bad news, but especially when they're the corrupted ones, because then anything else in the area will come to attack you at the same time, and then you gotta fight off in some areas, you have to fight off multiple of those things, and Rexes, and Raptors, and all kinds of other shit at once, and yeah, it's bad. Extinction is not really meant to be- are you kidding me? Another Alpha Raptor. Damn it. What level is this one now? A level 12, but it's got more health than the other one had, doesn't it? No, the other one had like 19,000, that's right. This one's got 4,000 some. Still, I don't want to face it. But it's going to be hard to get out of here without being spotted by it. <sighs> you know what I could do? got my rifle now I could kill it with that that would take it down much faster than the crossbow would it may draw attention from anything else in the area as well though but it will kill that thing very quickly or maybe not very quickly, but much quicker than the crossbow. Okay, gotta wait for it to get to where I can get a good shot on it. Gotcha, 589 damage. Or 88, I guess. Damn it, 
I gotta make sure I can hit it though. Shit, dude, I'm, I'm almost out of food. There we are, 588. Nice. Yeah, headshots give you over 500 damage with this. Which is why it's very useful for fighting off tougher things like this. Missed it. Shit. I hate to use up all of my rifle ammo right now, though. make more. It takes up resources, but I can make more. Shit, missed the headshot. Should be able to finish it off with the crossbow pretty quickly here. Yeah, it's pretty bloody. It should be should be pretty close to dead. if I could actually hit them when they're under me like that. Come on, that should have been a headshot. Damn it. It's so fucking hard to hit them when they're down there like that. Fuck, but now it's gonna heal. This might actually be a good chance for me to get down and get to a better position. up on that rock if I can get there. Maybe use this one to get up there. Or not. Where the hell did it go? What the fuck are you? Gotcha. Got it. Awesome. It doesn't even have anything I can access in its inventory, really. Oh, well. Is 
There's a pteranodon nearby that I can knock down and tame. I don't see one. Shit. Now would have been the perfect time to do that because I've got all that prime meat on me now. But looks like the prime meat's going to have to go to waste again. Damn it. It's just going to have to spoil in my inventory like usual. Because their corpses will last, mu will disappear much faster than um, than a regular dinosaur's corpse will. So that's why I always harvest that prime meat as soon as I can. But then, if I don't have a tame with me, it will go to waste very quickly. that tree otherwise I would have shot that there we are I want to look around out here. This grapple hook is just incredibly useful. <laughs> That's why I wanted to start on it as soon as I could because of how useful it is. What the hell happened down there? Because those are a couple of herbivores, which means the Diplo wouldn't have attacked them. That Alpha Raptor might have, well, it was up, it might have been up here and then moved on down there. That is very odd, though. I never saw this. Huh. Cool. Raptor. Yeah, I can't read those. <laughs> Hard to read that writing. Maybe if I was playing at a higher resolution or something, I might be able to, but because I play, I have to play in a window and therefore can't really, can't really play it. Oh, that's a carnal. I see. I bet I know what happened then. The carnal probably attacked over here. Probably had killed this, then got killed by that. Or something like that. The carnal attacked and killed the, the turtle, I'm thinking, and then something else killed the carnal. Level 8 Packy, no thanks. 
I don't think I'd be able to tame a Paki anyways. I think I need better stuff for that. Probably kibble or berries, or not berries, crops. Spoiled. Shit. I wasn't expecting to run into another another alpha raptor over here though. But I gained a I gained a, some experience out of it, so I got two levels between that and the explorer mount. Nice. I'm going to try to get my health up around 300 as well for now. More later on, probably. Not sure what I would really want next. I do want to get one of those because I do plan on taming one of those guys eventually. back here a ways. That will be useful when I decide to go on into the water. Hyperthermia, great. Which means I'm going to dehydrate real quick here. I do have to get a flying tame pretty soon here because I'm going to start needing polymer for, for the next equipment I'm going to be wanting to get, and for that I need to get obsidian, which I can't really get to on foot very easily. Because obsidian is either in caves or up on mountains. And the nearest one to me is the volcano in the center of the map. And that I definitely don't want to be going up on foot. That is full of Rexes, Allosauruses, Gigas can spawn there. I mean, it's bad news all around. There's I've seen scorpions there. I've seen all kinds of shit. Just a dangerous place all around. <laughs> need all 
this raw meat. Oh, nice. I got a ramshackle one. I'll be using that and removing the other ones now then. Or one of the other ones. I still want to keep a spare with me. broken one in here and I'll keep that one I don't need to I'll keep these things maybe I should increase my carrying capacity over 300 because that way I can carry more still and I won't have to make trips back to b the base as often Yeah, the problem, as I was saying with, um, with extinction in Sanctuary, water is a lot more rare, and it's co constantly, just consistently at 95 degrees Fahrenheit in there, so you're always hot, which means your water runs out faster than normal. So, water is a... Pretty tricky thing there. Uh, like I said, at least in the areas I've explored so far, water is pretty pretty uncommon. I mean, there are there are places you can get it, and I've pretty much memorized a lot of them. But Apparently they can spawn out in like shallow water like this, but I don't really, I don't really go out there and I've never really seen them when I've been walking through either, but then again, I haven't really been looking real hard either, but I don't want to go out there just yet. Because I have seen Megalodons coming in that close to shore and I don't like that idea. I just, I have a feeling a Megalodon would be one hell of a tough thing to fight if you're in the water. That was a dolphin, damn it. The dolphin things sound horrible. I don't know how many times I've been startled by one of those because of the noise they make. But then again, I've also been startled by the pooping noise, so... <laughs> I guess when I get into the game, I'm easily startled. When I get to where I'm focusing, I can be startled pretty easily. I don't know that I've ever seen those trilobites up in this part. I, th I don't think they come in this part. And maybe they do, but I've, if I have seen them, it's been so rare that I don't even remember it. So that's why typically if I'm looking for them, I'll just completely skip this part up there. Just because I don't don't ever remember seeing them there, so I'd rather go to the places where I know I've seen them. I don't need those those things actually. That'll free up a bit of space for me. I 
I'm glad I found out in the last one that you can block their spit attack with your shield. I was always just avoiding it as best as I could. I would try to just sidestep it, which is possible, but blocking it is also effective, which seems to be a little easier for me. Yeah, the place I've seen those trilobites the most is out on this little this little peninsula thingy here. I think that's the right term for it. Surrounded on three sides by water is a peninsula. don't like that glare from the sun on the water, but I haven't figured out how to remove it either. If I knew how to, how to stop that, I would most definitely get rid of it, because that is extremely annoying. Yeah, see, I'm not finding those trilobites. I found two of them. There's a megalodon right over there. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm not really a dinosaur kind of person. Like, I don't... I'm not one of those people who's really into dinosaurs and stuff, but... I still gotta admit, this game is cool. This game is really cool, being able to see them up close like this and stuff is just awesome. I swear, if a spinal pops up over here while I'm over here, I'm, I'm gonna be pissed. I might have mentioned it already, but one time I was wandering around and I had a circle probably pop up in front of my face from me to that bridge away. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> that wasn't very fun. <laughs> that was the first time I took a circle on head-to-head, -head, like, where I didn't have a, an advantage of upper ground or anything. I was still able to kill it with my crossbow, but because they're slow enough, I was able to just keep away from it while I shot it, but still, it wasn't very fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the trilobites are only on the ocean water, because I've never seen them up in the swampy area either, and I've spent a lot of time in that swampy area. So I would think if they could be up there, I would have seen them by now. So I think it's just the ocean waters where you'll find them. And there are oil veins and stuff that you can find underground, or underwater, I mean. So you can get oil when you're underwater, but I'm not really able to go underwater right now. So that's why I resort to the trilobites, because there, there was something else that I've killed before that gave me oil, but I can't remember what it was. It was another bug sort of thing, if I remember correctly. I don't know for sure, though. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. There was one other thing that I've killed that gave me oil, but I can't remember. As well as silica pearls. I've gotten silica pearls from something else too, but I don't remember what it was.
I'll leave him alone. I don't need the organic polymer yet anyways. I can't remember for sure, but I believe I read somewhere that organic polymer can be used as a substitute for polymer, but I don't know for sure. I'd have to check that later on when I've got access to it. might have been the leeches. I might be remembering the leeches that I got. The, um, the silica pearls or whatever from. Because I know I didn't kill many of whatever it was. I know I haven't killed very many of whatever it was. So it may have been leeches. And I say that because I've only fought, I've only killed like two or three leeches. Mostly because they're very annoying to try to find. Maybe it was one of those guys I got it from, I don't remember. I'm probably gonna die here. Not only was there that, but there's a Baryonyx over there. Although the Baryonyx, I can grapple away and kill that. But yeah, that's a that's a Caprosuchus, Caprosuchus, whatever. Those are the ones that will do the jump thing that I mentioned and grab you or your dinosaurs. Can actually just ignore the baryonyx it shouldn't attack me unless i'm in the water as far as i know i'm pretty sure that's what i read was that they're not aggressive unless you're in the water i thought i saw movement and i thought it was a titan boa is that a trudon yes Apparently they're a bit more unpredictable than I thought they were. I don't remember if that was on here or not. Well, yeah, it was. It was when I was up in the Redwood Forests where the one attacked me and it wasn't even nighttime. Because according to what I read, they didn't attack unless it was nighttime. They weren't aggressive during the day according to what I had read, but apparently that wasn't quite true. I think that might be what that other thing I just saw there was as well, so I'm going to try to avoid it if I can. But I also saw something chasing another dinosaur over here. It looked like a Gallimimus. Why is there a Gallimimus over here? And why is it running? What's chasing it?
skip all over there. That's a diplo. And it's at a perfect spot. For me to kill it where it can't reach me. As long as I've got enough arrows. <clears throat> How much health does it have? Let's check that first. 4,080. Eh. Got enough, but will my crossbow wa last long enough? Headshots don't do increased damage on these guys, so I can just shoot wherever I want. Because this will give me a good chunk of experience if I kill it. Inside that rock, what the fuck? Uh oh. I don't think it can reach me still, but that's not good that it's starting to climb up here like that. I found out that it's not true that you can stand on the back of the turtles and hit them and then they can't reach you. I found out that doesn't work. Where are you going? Get back here. Where are you? After dumping that many arrows into it, I want to finish it off. I don't want it to get away. It's running. Okay, I just saw its tail. All these trees are in the way for me to see where it is, though. But I saw its tail going that way. I'm assuming it's continuing to move this way. Now that it's in those trees, it's hard to tell where it is, though. It's nearly impossible. Unless I see it knock over a tree. Yeah, I think it's gone. Shit. It got away, didn't it? Damn it. Well, that sucks. I just dumped a bunch of arrows into it and lost them then. And I didn't gain anything for it. The 
get another fertilized egg any minute now then. Do any of you guys level up? See, the longer you've got them, the longer it takes for them to level up. Ran out of spark powder in there, apparently. That'll give me 88 spark powder. Oh, wait, I need it in there, duh. I was like, wait, I've got some in this thing, but that's because I need it in there. cooking pot need to be on a floor? I don't believe it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. that sound means that the egg was just laying. Yep. Too hot, okay. I'll move it away from the fire then. I'll put the fire out then. There we go. Okay, there we go. needed 175 of that stuff, was it, for the Argentavis sweater? 150. Still, that's a lot. I'm still quite a ways away from there. Yeah, see, polymer, it takes cementing paste and obsidian. And I need a lot of that for stuff that I want to be doing next. any of that other stuff in here anymore, do I? Oh, I gotta go find more bugs. Gotta go find more bugs. Or those other guys. I'm done cooking up this meat go. You know, I need to make a feeding thing, don't I?
I think I should make a feeding trough or whatever, however it's pronounced. Do I have the engram unlocked for it? No, I do not think I do. I don't know if that will work for the baby or not, though. It'll automatically eat it when, when hungry. I don't know if that would work for a baby or not. Because I think I read somewhere that you can't do that for the babies. But I can't remember for sure. Okay, apparently it wasn't five oil and some hide to make gasoline. It must have been more. Was it ten oil? Was that it? Because I know that's enough hide. one of those. Hmm. Then one of the big thick trees over there, I can place it on the ones that can't be destroyed. The only problem is it places it way up on the tree, like way, way up on the tree, where I need to... I need to use my grapple hook to get up to it. <laughs> Apparently that's just a solid slope there. Is that the one that I was attacking? Yes, it is. Would it really be worth killing it though? It shouldn't be aggressive towards me anymore. It got, it ran away and hasn't been engaged with me for a while, so it should be, it should be docile again. Oh boy. Good thing I didn't zip over there. How the hell am I going to get over there with that thing right there? I don't know if this is high enough because it might be able to get up on that rock and reach me, but... Ugh. And I gotta make sure I don't overshoot and hit that other thing, because that would definitely be able to reach me up here. I don't think I need to worry about that part, though. I shouldn't overshoot that far. Oh, come on. How am I not hitting that? Oh jeez, there's a bull over there too. Why is that not attacking the other thing? Because I can't place it on other trees. It's got to be on one of those ones as far as I can tell. Those are the only ones I've been able to place it on so far anyways.
This is the safest point to cross over, usually, but right now it's not so safe. At least the safest point that I've found to cross over into there. just hear that those things can jump like way farther than they should be able to where the hell is it It'll give up and go away. I had a feeling that was what the noise was when I heard it, but I wasn't certain. That's why I started looking out towards the water. Where the hell did it go, though? Because I don't want it to grab me, because then I doubt I'd be... Ah, there it is. Look at the goofy way they walk around. Oh, now it's in the tree, so you, in the trees, so you can't really see it. Look at that. It's got its back end all arched up like that. It's just weird. And they've got quite a large aggro range, so if I went down to that rock, it would probably aggro on me again. And it would probably be able to reach me with its jump up there, too. I didn't catch what level it was, so I'll have to be careful here, because if it's a high enough level, I'm done. If it's too high of a level, I'm going to die. See what I mean about the large aggro range? Where the hell are you? It's gonna jump up and grab me out of nowhere. probably able to reach me here with its jump. Where'd it go? What the hell, where is it? Doesn't exactly have money. I mean, maybe, yeah. I've seen them jump real high, like this high up before. I've seen it happen. Good thing about them is they're not that tough. Oh, no wonder I wasn't seeing it. It kept going in there, didn't it? Yeah, the good thing about them is they don't take much to kill. They don't have a ton of health. Not as much as Sarkos do anyways. Now, where the hell was I trying to get across at? Right over here, there's rocks I was going to try to use. But yeah, they'll put you to sleep, I think, if I remember correctly. That's just that Diplo. Did I actually get up on the rock, or am I... No, not quite. Okay. Yeah, my mouse is wearing out. 
because it just I was holding down the left click and it just stopped right in the middle of that and I've been also noticing that it's not always clicking when I when I hit the button so yeah I didn't think I could reach that I don't like going over into here But in order to do what I want to do, I need to. That's not high enough. Oh, I guess it was. But yeah, this tree right here should work. Plus, it'll be easy to remember this one because it sticks out like this. It's right up on this little knob thing here. Yeah, see, it puts it way up there. So if I come back over, I need to build stairs or something, or I need to... Um, or else I need to use my grapple to get up to it. I find using the grapple to be a bit easier. Don't have to go and get resources to build something then. I'd have to say harvesting resources is my least favorite part of this game, but that's all part of a survival game. You always have to do that. There we are. Now I wanted to place that tree sap tap because I can use the tree sap later on. I know one thing you can use it for is, um, oh geez, they're, those other ones are mating now. There goes the baby. Dumbo. Oh, looks like you're pretty hungry. Now there's going to be a fertilized egg coming any time now. Jesus. No, I will... Behavior. Disable wandering. Disable following. I'm going to have to go and gather up a bunch of berries. You do work pretty good for that, so... I think the trike might actually harvest the berries a bit better, but you're quicker, so, and you can carry more. So I'm going to use you instead. Oh, my nose itches. should be enough berries for now. Yep, that's plenty. At least for now.
don't need another one right now, so I'm going to put that fertilized egg into the preserving bin. They'll last in here for the same amount of time as a normal one. Oh boy. Yeah, I got that Rex bone helmet skin from killing that uh from killing that alpha raptor. Looks like it's six. Um, oil makes one gasoline, or makes five gasoline. I don't need the fishing pole with me right now. hate to do this, but my sword's going to need repaired soon. How much does it cost right now? 16. Okay, it costs 25 if it fully breaks, I think. My grapple hook needs repaired as well. I need to go and get more of that stuff so I can get an RG saddle. So I guess I'm heading back out to the coast then. As soon as I... Eh. I shouldn't run into too many threats out on the coast. the other ones with your sword. Okay, come on, where'd they go? Harder than hell to see their corpses in the grass. It really is way too difficult to see those things, their corpses in the grass like that. They may be big for insects, but they're still small to try to search through the grass for them. Did I hear a compy? I thought I did. Yeah, that, that thing I mentioned before, the dodo dex thing. There was an April Fool's thing they did where they put in scientific names of the dinosaurs. Forgot about those guys.
God damn. Another one of you fuckers, huh? Man, I hate those Trudons. Anyway, as I was saying, they did a thing where they put in the scientific names of the different dinosaurs. And they they actually weren't scientific names obviously <laughs> but it was pretty damn funny like the compy they called a pocket chicken <laughs> the carbonemus was an armor doggle like just dumb things like that but funnier than hell i was having way too much fun reading those names Yeah, the Dilo was Spitty McSpitface, I think was the name they gave it. The Allosaurus, I haven't found any of them yet with in the videos, but... The Allosaurus, I think, was Speedy McSnappers or something like that. It was just stupid things like that, but they made me laugh. They were funnier than hell to me. Probably weren't really as funny as I thought they were, but they made me laugh quite a bit. I didn't realize it was an April Fool's thing because I saw it like two days ago, which was after April Fool's. And I was like, oh, what? this must be something new they added just for comedy purposes or something. So then... Yesterday, when I went to look at more of them, because I had only seen a couple, the names were gone. So I contacted the developer, and I sent them an email. I'm like, what happened to the scientific names? And they told me it was for April Fools. And I was like, oh, I wish I would have seen the full list of them. And they gave me a link to a post on Reddit that had the image of the full list of them. It was pretty nice. I, I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, they were funny. Some of them were kind of stupid, but they were still, they were funny. I'm trying to remember what some of the other ones were. Oh yeah, the Trudon. The Trudon was Bill Cosby, <laughs> which that one, not exactly, it was kind of a, um, a rather inappropriate joke, but I, I still thought it was pretty damn funny. Yeah, it's just, it, whatever, for whatever reason, it just seemed to apply, it just happened to um, appeal to my sense of humor, and I loved it. It was funnier than hell, so I was glad they had the full list that I could see still. I might actually, if I can, put a link to it in the description of the video because it is pretty funny.
I think it's worth checking out. But yeah, as I was saying, I did try the hopping up on the turtle's back and then attacking it. It can still attack you. Unless I was in the wrong position on its back, but I'm pretty sure it's just that it can still attack. I see jellyfish down there. Those things are annoying. I've run into a couple up on the surface and they're very frustrating. I like not having the rails on it, it looks better. Plus then I can shoot off the side of it if I see something I want to kill. Where the rails will get in the way when I try to shoot off the edge. But yeah, those jellyfish, they'll sting you and their toxin causes you to go to sleep. Pretty much everything puts you to sleep in this game, and that's not good. <laughs> Especially the ones in the water. Underwater is not the best place to take a nap. There was no reason for me to do that. Because <laughs> at that level I only gain like one experience point from killing it, so there's n I can't even excuse it for doing it for the experience. That was just because I wanted to. <laughs> That was just because I'm an asshole, apparently. <laughs> that pteranodon looked goofy from way over here. Another one of you, huh? Good. I think I have enough of that stuff to make the Argentavis settle now. Or pretty close if I don't have enough. So I'm going to check out the rest of the shoreline, see if there's any more of those guys around, and then I'll head back home. I just saw the pteranodon poop into the water. <laughs> That's always weird when you see them flying around and then they just poop and it falls out wherever they're wherever they're flying. I mean, I get it. That's what happens with birds or anything that's flying. They poop and it falls to the ground, but it just looks funny with these guys. I'm not going to cut through there. Actually... It's not usually too dangerous in here, so this time it will be, watch. I'll get killed by a raptor or something. Or I'll aggro a tickle chicken by accident. I'm still surprised that one was stuck in that other in the other episode. I was so lucky that that thing was stuck in that episode where I got killed by, or, or when I went to get the medal and that just nothing worked out. I'm so lucky that Tickle Chicken was stuck on that ridge. I mean, 
being out here on my own, I could grapple up to something safe to kill it from, hopefully. But I still don't want to risk fighting them unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, those guys were called a drunk horse. They had that name because apparently to tame them you use beer barrels. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And the tickle chicken was named a tickle chicken. But yeah, it was pretty funny. I can't remember which, um, which one of the maps it was on. It might have been on this one, actually. I saw recently, like, three raptors attack one of those big horse-looking things and kill it. I've never seen, I've never seen raptors attack something like that, so that surprised me. I didn't block it. So I did just level up, which I was hoping to. That's why I was still going around looking for stuff to kill, because I was so close. Damn it. Don't start on me like that, you little bastard. No carnals, please. That's the last thing I want to run into right now. On this island, because I'm pretty sure Rexes can't get on this island, but a Rex would be a bad thing to run into, too. As well, I mean, not run into to run into as well that sounds a little better <laughs> but as, as far as i know the worst that spawns on that island is a carnal the worst that would uh, automatically attack anyways obviously tickled chickens are worse than a carnal but they're not automatically aggressive Go back along the shore this way to head back home, to kill any more of those um, trilobites that I see, and then I'll head back home and craft up that RG saddle, so I'll have it for the next episode. And in the next episode, I intend to go and tame myself in Argentavis, hopefully. I want to make sure it's got a decent amount of stamina, though, because to get back out of that forest, I'm going to want to go up above the trees. Oh, you bastard. God damn it. Fucking click. My mouse isn't clicking, damn it. There were a couple of times I had a great shot on that thing, but my mouse just wouldn't click. God, I hate that. I gotta find a new mouse. I gotta get a new mouse. Because that's getting annoying when that happens.
I think it's just if I don't hit the mouse the mouse button in the ex in like an exact position like if I hit it too far to the side I think it's just worn out where it's not quite not quite connecting properly or whatever and I don't know I don't fucking know all I know is I need a new mouse a manta out in the water. Yep, right there. I knew I heard one of them. Damn it. It's out in the water too far. I don't want to go out there because mantas are aggressive, I think. That's why I didn't want to engage it in the water. If it had been like a level 12 or something, I would have been fine with engaging it in the water because it takes like two hits to kill those ones, but that one, that one was a bit tougher. Oh, I never thought. Let me... Oh, I'm going to get this supply drop. Let me try something real quick. I can do that. I'm going to go and grab that supply drop. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give it's a yellow one, so it should be good. Gimme, give gimme. What do you have? Mammoth saddle blueprint. That will be useful when I start venturing into the snowy area. I'm gonna check up here for trilobites and then I'll head back home. stop for a minute to regain stamina before I run all the way out. That sucks that that one trilobite got away. I'm gonna need the silica pearls for crafting electronics. I can get electronics from killing tech dinosaurs, but that's not a very reliable source. You don't find them that often. I mean, yeah, I've, I can find them pretty frequently, but not often enough where I'll be able to get enough that by doing it that way. Not where I can count on that to be my supply of electronics. find any more. Okay. I think that's all the more I'm going to find this time around. I'll head over to the bridge.
and then I'll go across and head back for home. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen them this far back. Yeah, another another one of the um scientific names that was on there the dimetrodon it was a small spinal or s small spinal however the hell you pronounce it s m o l but it was that and then there was um the spinal was named a thick dimetrodon <laughs> those ones are pretty comical too it was just funny My kind of humor, I guess. No, oh, my water thing is empty. Okay. Well then. I don't think I'll be able to get to the water with it, can't, will I? It won't reach far enough, will it? It will. Then I can just... Zip line back up. Or, not zip line. Just pull myself back up. Yeah, that, that April Fool's thing was funny. I'll have to put a link to it in the description. If I can find the link that the guys sent me again. If I remember, actually. I know I can find the link. It's right in my email. I just gotta remember to get it. Ah, that was the wrong, the wrong thing. Oof, that was bad. <laughs> that was the wrong fucking thing. Thankfully I survived that fall. I would have been so mad at myself if I messed up and got killed there. <laughs> much metal considering I just went over there and brought back 1200 or was that no that was on here that's right that was on here for it too, didn't I? I don't remember what all I needed for it. Pretty sure I needed some wood for it though, didn't I? Oh no, hide. I need more hide. One more stack of hide will be enough. Argentina settle.
weapons. I think I'll be crafting that as soon as I can. Maybe not. No, I still want to get... No, didn't I make the shotgun? I crafted the shotgun, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. No, I guess I didn't, did I? I thought I did. I know I've got the, the ability to craft it, but I thought I had. I guess not. I do want to craft that shotgun. That only takes a little more wood. I might go and gather that real quick and craft up a shotgun. I thought I had. I thought I had already crafted one. I'll double check before I actually make one to be sure that I don't have one laying around somewhere. I know it's not, not on one of my dinos, but I'll double check to make sure I didn't just miss it in one of these. I was almost certain I had crafted one. Oh well, I'll have one now. Damn, that's taking forever to craft that thing. does it take to make the ammo for it? A lot of stuff. Okay. Oh. something I was just thinking the last time that I wanted to get. I guess there wasn't something I was thinking about getting. I'll get those because then I can cut my hair later on when I get this stuff for it. That's what it was. This takes a lot of stuff to make this. That's the only reason I don't really feel like I should even try, because it's just so much to make it.
don't really need most of this stuff, do I? I don't actually need most of this. I guess I can get that. I probably won't be using it because it weighs like 45, whatever the heck, 45 units of weight, whatever they are. So I probably won't be using it, but I could. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.